Hello viewers, you're welcome to our channel again. Today's question, we have an exponential equation in combination with a trigonometric function to solve. In this equation, we want to figure out the angle of x. Okay, if this is the first time you're seeing me on this space, I want you to sit back and enjoy. If you find value at the end of the day, please consider subscribing. To our subscribers, we love you and there's nothing you can do about it. So let us dive into this question right now and right now. Okay, viewers, the first thing I want you to remember is the trigonometric identity, which says um, sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So take note of this trigonometric identity because we are going to make use of this guy along the line. So the, the, for this question, or for this equation, we have several ways of solving it, but I think the method I'm, I'm about to show you right now will be so easy for you. So the first thing I want to do I would like to multiply both sides of this equation with 16 to the power sine squared x. So I'm going to multiply 16 to the power sine squared x to both sides of this equation. So I have sine squared x like this plus I have 16 cos squared x is equal to 16 sine squared x then times 10. Okay, so if I distribute 16 to the power sine squared x into all these guys, I will have this guy to become 16 um, 2 sine squared x. No, from the law of indices, when they are multiplying and they have the same base, you add their powers, okay? Yes, so in this case now we have 16, they have the same base, so I'm going to add this power, so we have sine squared x plus cos squared x. Then, of course, we have here to be 16 sine squared x times 10. Now, at this point, you know this guy, that all this guy will be just 1. So, I can easily substitute 1 in this case. So, I have here to be 16 uh, 2 sine squared x plus uh, 16 to the power of 1, which is 16, is equal to 16 sine squared x times 10. Okay, yeah, at this point, at this point, what I want to do is I will want to uh, make 16 to the power sine squared x to be a variable. So I'll say let 16 to sine squared x equal to y. Okay, so I'm going to substitute uh, y in place of this expression. So I will have here to become y squared. Remember, I can take this guy to be. Um, all raised power 2. So this guy will become y squared. So I have y squared here. Then plus I have 16 equal to I have um, this guy will be y 10 or 10y. Okay, this will be 10y. So this is a quadratic equation and uh, we are going to solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. Okay, so I'm going to take this guy into this side. So I have y squared minus 10y plus 16 is equal to 0. Now, at this point, I'm looking for two numbers such that when I multiply these two numbers together, I'll get positive 16. And when I add the same two numbers, I'll get negative 10. Okay? These two numbers are no other numbers except 8 and 2. So these two numbers are just minus 8 and minus 2. Let us see if it is correct. Minus 8 times minus 2 will give me positive 16 and minus 8 plus minus 2 will give me minus 10. So I'm going to have this equation to become y minus 8 and y minus 2 all equal to 0. Okay? Yeah. So at this point, I will put each of these factors to 0. So I'll get the value of y. So I have y minus 8 is equal to 0 and y minus 2 is equal to 0. So at this case, y is equal to 8 and y is equal to 2. Now, remember, we made a statement earlier on that we said, let this guy be equal to y. So we are going to recall this statement and get the final value for s. So let me take away this part from the board. Okay, viewers, we are going to recall our initial statement. We said that recall, recall that 
um, 16 to the power sine squared x is equal to y. Okay, and now we have two values for y which are 8 and 2. So I'm going to solve these two guys independently for different values of y. So in this case, I have 16 to the power sine squared x is equal to the first value of y which is 8. And for this other guy, it will be 16 sine squared x is equal to 2 for the other value of y. Now, in this case, I want to write 16 in the powers of 2 because you know 16 is same as 2 to the power of 4 and 8 is same as 2 to the power of 3. So I'm going to substitute these guys for these people here. So I have 2 to the power of 4 sine squared x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And in this case, these two we cancel out these two. So I have 4 sine squared x is equal to 3. Then I will divide both sides by 4. So I have sine squared x is equal to 3 upon 4. Then I will square both sides. Okay, so I have sine x is equal to the square root of 3 upon 4. Now, at this point, okay, I, I want to take this guy to this side. So I have here to be sine x is equal to the square root of 3 upon 2. Yeah, because the square root of 4 is 2, okay? Now, at this junction, x is equal to the sine inverse of root 3 upon 2, and that will be x is equal to 60 degrees. So this is the first value for x, and to get the second value of x, I'm going to solve this other equation and get the second value of x. So let me take away this part of the board. So I have... Yeah, okay viewers, now we've gotten the first value of x and we want to get the other value of x. So we're going to solve this equation to get the other value of x. So this guy is 16 to the power of sine squared x is equal to 2. Remember, 16 calculated as 2 to the power of 4. And of course, we have sine squared x right here equal to 2 to the power 1. 2 to the power 1 is the same as 2, so there's no problem with that. Now, of course, this base will cancel out, so we have 4 sine squared x is equal to 1. Then I'll divide both sides by 4, so I have sine squared x is equal to 1 upon 4. I'll square both sides, so I have sine x. If I square here and I square here, I'll have sine x is equal to uh, 1 upon 2. Okay, this is the square of both sides. Square root of 1 is 1, and square root of 4 is just 2. Of course, x will become the sine inverse or the arc sine of 1 upon 2. And of course, what that is, is x is equal to 30 degrees. You can check this out in the calculator, sine inverse of 1 over 2 and sine inverse of 3 over 2. When you put down your calculator, you get the value of x to be 30 degrees in this case and 60 degrees in this case. So viewers, we've come to the end of this calculation. The values of x are 30 degrees and 60 degrees. So if you find value in this video, we want you to subscribe so that you will see our next video upload. We love you and God bless you. Bye.